Supply chain is the process that ensures the production, shipment, distribution, and sale of a product, say asparagus, makes it from the farm to our table safely and efficiently. Let's take a look at this process and hear from key workers to better understand their role at each step along the way. First up is Joe Del Bosque, farmer and owner of Del Bosque Farms in California. We've been growing asparagus now for about 21 years. I've always had a lot of love for farming ever since I was a little boy and I would go with my father and then he put me on a tractor to work in the fields. And it was always fascinating to see the crops growing, their interaction with the soil and water, to feel that reward of harvesting the fruits of your labor. Harvest of asparagus begins in March, and we have a crew of uh, about 45 people. They go right down the row looking for any asparagus that's over nine inches tall. They cut it. They collect it in little boxes. At the end of the day, those tubs will be loaded into a refrigerator truck and we send it to a packing shed. And there it will be cleaned, washed, sorted. Once it gets packed in the box, it gets chilled in a hydro cooler. And then from there, it gets shipped off to market. Managing the timing and logistics of these deliveries is critical. Meet Dan Miller, head of field operations for JMB, a packing and shipping company in California. After 30 years in this industry, my passion for this position is the product itself. Asparagus has been and, and remains to be a specialized product. We ship around the world and across the United States. For fresh asparagus, the product is delivered via refrigerated transportation and we transport that product between 34 and 36 degrees. Temperature is very important and uh, we monitor it either remotely or via a temperature recorder that is read as the product's unloaded. We have our trucking company set up ahead of time. In most cases, we are shipping the product to a store on the day that it was harvested. Timely delivery is very important. Freshness of the product, changes in market conditions, those play a big factor in the ultimate delivery and satisfaction of our customers on the other end. Asparagus is then brought to a wholesaler who assesses supply and demand prior to retail sale. Here's Mark Levin, CEO of M. Levin & Company in Pennsylvania. Our company has been in the wholesale fruit and vegetable business for 114 years. I'm in a family business. I'm third generation. My daughter is fourth generation. Our facility is 700,000 square feet of refrigerated space. We have a sales force that sells the fruits and vegetables. We have a team of union warehousemen. We have the advantage of bringing in product and having it available so that when somebody runs short, we've always got supply. When we order our produce, we have a general idea of how much of each item we need for a week's amount of consumption. We will bring it into our warehouse, inspect it for quality, and then redistribute it to our customers. We set pricing for a lot of our customers. We talk to various growers, various shippers, so that we get a compilation of pricing and can give you a price based off of a wealth of information. And just the right amount of asparagus is needed for the grocery store. Meet Bob LeBond Jr., CEO of LeBond's Market in Connecticut. LeBond started in 1962 with my grandfather and father as partners in a small butcher shop and 800 square feet. We currently have 420 employees, and that is in four locations. When the asparagus arrives in the back door, it usually comes on pallets with other produce. The asparagus, depending on how fresh it is when it comes in, can last anywhere from five to seven days. One of the things that helps us estimate how much we're using or going to need is our front end point of sale system. So that tracks how many pounds we sell by each store, by each day, and you can actually do it by the hour if you want. What really helps is having a manager who's been in the business for years and knows the supply and demand of the store and the customer base. Nothing is pre-ordered by the consumer, yet we have figured out how to have enough in stock, but not too much that it, it goes bad. So it's a really delicate process that's really been honed over years and years of a lot of teamwork and communication between the growers, the distributors, and the retailers. So how is technology improving growth and profitability in supply chains now and in the future? Here's Abby Haynes, Senior Solutions Consultant with Symphony Retail AI. 
I really enjoy learning about different challenges of our customers and exactly where they have gaps, trying to find ways technology can solve for those problems to make their day-to-day easier. Our demand forecast AI and replenishment tools are cloud-based solutions. In the past, grocery buyers did a lot of guesswork and pen and paper math and looking at past year's sales to try to determine what their order quantities should be. But with a forecast tool that's taking in all that data for you and giving a suggested order, you don't need to focus so much on that sort of work. The grocery buyers can, at the start of their workday, see that suggested asparagus quantity to order. This way, it's able to structure their day in a more efficient way and allow them to be more strategic in how they're working. And that is how asparagus gets from the farm to our table. But supply chains are vulnerable to disruptions, including the COVID-19 pandemic, which has led to empty store shelves, new worker safety protocols, and changes in customer shopping habits. It's important to understand how these trends impact consumers, businesses, and the overall economy.